Hi, welcome to Yoga in My Living Room. Here I make informal videos for family and friends and then I share them on the internet. You're very welcome. So we're moving on with fine tuning nuances and stretches and building muscles, right? So, whew, moved around too much, running out of breath. We're gonna work on the abs a little bit um, and I wanna do it really gentle, things that you can just toss in there um, and maybe build up the routine from there. But if you're like, um, I'm specifically making this for a family member. If you are primarily focusing on stretching and you really wanna make sure your back starts to feel better, throwing in even two minutes of abs will be like mega difference. Plus, once you understand your abs, you can um, regularly engage them in a relaxed way, uh, which will help with posture, will help your back, make you stronger, and you can feel superior because you know how to engage your abs. I don't feel that way at all. All right, so we're gonna start uh, lying down on our back. This move is, um, I've heard it called the Pilates 100. It's a very common move. Make sure I'm in the frame properly. We're gonna lie down on our back. I don't know if I can be seen. Okay, let's go this way. We're gonna engage the core. Now here's the trick about the core. You engage with the exhale. When we inhale, all the air goes down. When we exhale, the air comes back up. We want to use the momentum of the air to engage the core properly. What we're doing with the core, I'm gonna go back to lying down in a moment. Um, I've been trying to nuance how I give the imagery for this, so hopefully this nuance will be the one that hits for you. When we engage the core, I've heard people say, suck your belly button all the way to the back. The problem with that is you end up sucking in the ribs, the diaphragm, everything, um, and it's just, you're not um, engaging the core properly, you're kind of suffocating yourself. Not the outcome we want. So what we do is we inhale, and on the exhale, the belly button is coming to the middle and backwards, all right? So it's actually kind of, uh, or rather the abs are moving towards the middle of the belly button. The belly button is moving towards the back, hanging out in the middle, the center of the body. And there's even a little bit of upward movement. So it's not just coming together this way, but it's coming together this way and upping a little bit that way. I hope that makes sense. So we're gonna lie down on our back. Bring the legs up 90 degrees. Relax the body. So I'm inhaling, exhaling, engaging the core. My belly just flattened a little bit, I'm engaging it that way. And I can lift my shoulders, head, neck, and shoulders up off the ground. If you start from your shoulders, the pressure is less in the neck. All right, I'm gonna do it again because tweaking my head. <sighs> Lifting up, and I'm here. And you can. Hold here steady. You can flap the arms to make it harder slash more dynamic. You can straighten the legs. There's a lot of room to play with this. And just hanging out. I like to do 30 seconds, relax 15, 30 seconds, voila, that's one minute. One minute 15. Next move, this one I find a lot harder. Um, and I also find it to hit my hip flexors if I go full on into the move. So I personally don't do it that way, but I'll show you how to do it. All right. This is a boat, excuse me. And there's also a variation for the obliques. So we're gonna sit up tall. You need to find the balance point on your butt. If you're feeling pain, then you're on your tailbone and you're not balanced properly. You wanna be balanced on the fleshy part of the butt. All right, so you can lift your feet up. If you feel it hitting in your hip flexors, there's one of two things you can do. Take a block or something similar, stick it between your thighs, squeeze the thighs together, and that'll help you begin to learn how to put the work on the thighs as opposed to the hips. Alternatively, just keep your feet down on the ground, maybe lift the toes up to make it a little harder. We're finding the balance, engaging the core, You'll know if you've engaged your core properly, if your back feels stiff, if you feel like there's support in your back, all right? And then we just reach the hands out. Again, you can lift. I do not like lifting. You can just hang out like here. 
Um, and then I always, when I finish this move, I counter by coming into butterfly pose. It allows you to round your back a little bit and release. My recommended for this, especially if you're a beginner, especially if your back hurts from it, because it's a lot, it's a lot on the back. Um, I like to do 20 seconds, followed by 15 or 20 seconds relax, 20 seconds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You decide for how long. A my, an alternate, a variation is a rowing the boat, is what I call it. You come into your boat pose, you clasp your hands, or use a weight if you're feeling uh, if you're feeling like it, and then you just twist side to side, rowing the boat. You can try 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Ooh, I'm done for now. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable. Um, those are just two very simple, not yet, not necessarily easy stretches. You can throw into your routine. One is lying on the back, one is sitting on your butt. And if you're stretching, you're probably doing that already. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.